اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک ٹو انادر لیکچر دس از دا تھرڈ لیکچر آن دا ویکٹر پرنسپلس سو ٹوڈے وی ول ریپ اپ دس انالائسس آل دا ویکٹر الجیبرا اینڈ دا کیلکولیشنس اینڈ سو آن اینڈ سو فورتھ سو ٹوڈے از دا لاسٹ پارٹ آف آور ویکٹر ریلیٹڈ لیکچرس اینڈ اینی الجیبرا ریلیٹڈ لیکچرس So today's topic is vector analysis. So we will we will not do vector vector algebras, but we will do some vector analysis. To to learn vector analysis, actually, we need to learn the language of D. You know, <laughs> the language of D, where we call it the D means the differential. So differential means it can be either the length, differential length. differential surface or differential volume so many time you have calculated like dx by dy integration of dx integration of x squared dx what is this dx actually and dy or dz or something like this this is actually we call differential lengths where uh, remember one thing that whatever we will um, try to analyze something in electromagnetics it have to be either in coordinate uh, rectangular or in spherical or in um, cylindrical however we uh, we usually start with the rectangular first and then we move on to spherical because spherical is the the most difficult one to understand comparatively difficult to understand than the rectangular and cylindrical but uh, come back we come back to our topic is we were talking about the differential lengths right so in rectangular coordinates whatever we you know in in our past years and and in our you know calculus calculations integrations and differentiations we we encounter many time the dx dy and dz right so those things are actually nothing but the difference hmm difference means like the difference between this point and this point and this point and this point or this point and this point but we didn't learn that one in a coordinatic way you know in in a, in a proper coordinate way however if you find any difference between two different points we call it uh, if it's let's say this one is x direction right this is x direction so this line represents the x and in between here also one line here and this one also x so this any two different any difference between two different points it actually creates a length actually a straight line so this is straight lines they are actually differential uh, lengths we call them so if it's x direction then we call it dx if it's y direction any difference between two points this let's say point 1 to point 2 this point point 1 to point 2 but let let consider here so point point here to point here or there there would have been one more here you know since this is cubic so point here to point here there are two different points right so the difference between them is dy towards y direction so this is the differential length towards y direction so we call it dy and similarly we call it dz in the direction of z when in the z plane we call it the uh, difference between z1 and z2 two points so now we know that dx is the differential length towards any x direction dy we call it towards any y direction and dz towards any z direction so these are the lengths we already covered them them already so what about what will be for the uh, wait huh before we go move on to our surfaces we need to declare one thing that in the this one let's say we we consider x right 
So in X, there will be Z and Y. Y and Z, there will be constant, right? Because there is nothing. So, so we consider first Z and Y, and then we move here, right? So if Z, Y and Z is constant, then the total length, actually the differential length, we call it dx. That's what I told you already. Now in y direction check. This is already we checked in x direction, right? So in y direction should be x and z constant, right? So x and z constant here. So the differential length, what we call it dl, the differential length dl is equal to dy. That's what I told you already. Similarly, in z direction, x and y is constant. So you cannot change them, but only z can be changed. Remember this thing, this conception is very important conception whenever you're going to move on to solve a problem related to 3D geometry and 3D magnetic field or electric field or 3D uh, charge density or whatever. So if you don't understand this one, you need to more focus and try to understand uh, by studying more. Do you want? So we move on from here. I told you already that the differential lengths of x and y and z directions are x, d, sorry, dx, dy, and dz correspondingly, uh, respectively. Now we move on to our uh, uh, surface, differential surfaces, where we have six different surfaces for one cube, right? One, two, three, four. Here five and, and the bottom six, right? So there are six different circumstances you can find, but uh, six different, sorry, six different surfaces, but the circumstances are three actually. Now here, let, let's see this surface. What we have here, we have X, right? And we have Z and X and Z. So means there should be X and Z. So DY will not be there. So means Y will be constant. So for here, the differential surface will be ds is equal to dx multiplied by dz because these are the differential lengths. So because these are the surface, right? So, so the area of the surface is equal to dz and dx. This is x, right? dx and dy. So y is constant. So we get dx and dz. Similarly, when we find out, um, let's say this, this surface. This surface, this is y, right? And this is z. So the x is constant here. There is no element of x here. So we have dy and dz here. So if x is constant, so we, this surface and then a surface at the back represent this one. And this surface and surface at the back represent this one. And on top of this and the bottom surface, so front and back represent by this, Right and left represent by this, and the top and the bottom surface represents by this, which is here. You check, there is no z here, right? So there will be z constant, which is we got ds differential surface is equal to dx dy. But for the volume, it's very simple. We have three, right? So we have dz, this is dy. And this is dx. So dx, dy, and dz. So we just multiply them. So nothing to be scared of. This is as simple as that. So whenever um, later on in the later stage of this uh, of today's lecture, later on we will see that how how we use these you know these conceptions to find out uh, and 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 solve the problems. Okay. So from Rectangular coordinate, we move on to the cylindrical coordinate system. Here, a little bit uh, complex, but don't worry about it. We know it's already. So this is theta, right? Sorry, this is phi. This is phi we know. This is rho. This is rho. So this is phi. This is rho. And this is z. The whole thing is z, right? So there are, we also have, Three, three different surfaces here. Three different surfaces here. Uh, sorry, we have six different surfaces here, but we have three different scenarios here. So, so we, we first con uh, concentrate on us, uh, for us, uh, we, we concentrate on uh, differential lengths first. Okay. 
So let's say we try to find anything row related. So this is row line, right? So here, so this is if this is row, so difference between row one and row two here. So this is become D row, right? Because this is straight line. So here there is no phi or, or, or Z here. So the phi and Z constant. So DL means the differential length here becomes D row. Now we look for the phi. So phi is here. Phi, now the problem is with the phi is it comes with the arc. With an arc actually. Hmm. So you, so here, right? So so let, let's concentrate on this one. So here phi one have an angle, right? And then there is a phi two angle, right? So there are two angles here. So this phi one minus phi two, but the problem is you cannot directly calculate with the angle. You need to convert it to the length, which is um, actually we call it the um, uh, uh, the the radian conversion of the degree. So if you want to find the length of this arc, you need to multiply radius and the um, angle between uh, two, two moving points. So this is the radius, which is we know phi, and this is the, uh, the angle between this, this arc, between this point and this point of the arc. So the r is there, and then phi is there, we know d phi, so difference angle between them, which is actually give us the length of this one. So this, remember this is special. Based on this one, actually, we got in this plane. See, we don't we have z moving. We don't have any z or any rho, right? Rho is constant here, however, but rho is not moving. So rho and z is constant. So rho, remember this one. This rho is constant. This rho is constant. So it will not change anything. So only phi is changing here. So we got phi. So DL of in this um, phi plane actually is actually rho phi, sorry, rho D phi. So this is special. Remember this one always. This is how we derive. And similarly, for Z, we have DL is equal to the DZ where phi and rho, uh, rho and phi, they are constant. Now we move on to surface. Surface, let's, let us talk about this surface this surface so there is no z right so z is constant here so we just multiply these two so rho d phi dz rho d phi d sorry d phi dz or sorry rho d phi d rho do rho d rho d phi or whatever you can put d phi dz also no problem so this is done now we move on to this surface so we have z and rho phi uh, rho d phi right so phi is const um, so where here there is no element of rho here so rho is not there so we have ds which is differential surface is equal to rho, rho constant rho of d phi and dz now we move on to this one sorry uh, maybe i did some mistake yes sorry i did already this one so this is this represents this one so this surface represents this one. This surface surface, surface represents this one. Because whenever you find a bend here, you are supposed to have a phi. So phi and phi we have. Now we consider it here this surface, this surface and this surface. So at the back and this surface, we have z here element, and we have rho here. So phi is constant here. We have rho phi and rho z. So that, the, <clears throat> that's how we can you know, characterize these three situations in three uh, different surfaces, which represents six different, uh, sorry, six different surface represented by three different scenarios. That's all. So to, to make them a little bit uh, clear that whenever you find this curve, so this surface and this surface related to this curve, we have phi, rho phi, okay? Sorry, uh, 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 rho not phi always. Okay. So here, uh, and then whenever we find there is no phi element here, so there is no phi element, so d rho and dz. Whatever we move on to 
<coughs> our volume uh, in the volume similarly we multiply with this this and this so we get this this and this multiplied we get this. so dv is as usual very uh, simple to calculate so we move on now to our spherical coordinate system <coughs> I will not go so deep in, inside the derivation actually because there are some derivation content content here. Uh, from there, we, you can find out this. Uh, but I will just try to tell you only, okay? Because de these derivations they are actually not for you, okay? It's for the, the like pure engineering research students who who do this research things and everything. But you don't need to. You need to only pick and le learn about this. Um, um, the system and equations and everything, and you need to apply them and uh, try to find the the solve find the solution of the problem and solve the problem. So, <clears throat> in a spherical coordinate, the differential lengths there are, there should be three different surfaces. Here one, and this is one one bended, and then this is bending also. So this straight one, this is R, this is bended surface. Which is theta, and this is bended surface. Hmm, this is bended surface for the phi, but for phi it doesn't come uh, directly. It comes with r sine theta also. Remember this one. And for this plane, it doesn't theta doesn't come only uh, theta. It comes with r also. And then we have this dr here. So this is dl towards the r direction is dr. <clears throat> DL towards the uh, theta direction is R not d theta and and the DL towards the phi direction is d R not sine theta d phi. Similarly, for the surfaces, just uh, mind this value because I don't want to go so deep inside it. But you need to multiply this with this. So R R square. So R R square for this surface. So R, R not square, sine theta d theta d phi, sine theta d theta d phi it comes. And if you think about this and this surface, so this one, this R theta dr, hmm. but also dr you, you replace. So here, here. And then uh, for the, uh, for the uh, phi con uh, theta constant, you need to multiply this one this surface on top so this and this surface so dr multiplied by sine theta uh, sine theta and d theta so let me make you clear again um, reset your mind here for for this for this surface at the bottom and the top at the bottom and the top we have two different lengths right dr and r r sine theta where r, r, r sine theta d phi where there is no theta element is there right theta element means there is no theta as a as a variable okay because theta is this plane so there is no movement here so this is theta constant so we multiply these two we get this as a differential length again for the front and the back we have this surface which multiplied by this and this where there is no um, uh, here is phi. There is no phi moving, right? There is no phi here. Hmm. So phi constant. No, no, no. Wait, huh? It, it, it gives me headache sometimes also. There is no... Ah, uh, this R is constant there. Ah, okay, okay. So R is constant here. Because there is... We are moving like this and this. So we are not moving like this. So R. So R is constant here. So we find out multiplying this and this. Uh, sorry, uh, this and this, we find R squared, sine theta d theta and d phi. Now, we we already have dealt with this, this, this and this. Now, we deal with this and this at the back. So, it, 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 at the left and the right one. So, we have only R, dr and R d theta. So, we have this, which is phi is constant. So, now we get it. From here... You uh, easily can derive the dv, means the volume, differential volume is multiplication of this, this, and this. As simple as 
that. So whenever we try to find the, the volume of the whole system, you need to uh, make a volume integral. Okay. If you try to find a surface uh, area of the any of them, so we need to find out the corresponding surface representation, surface differential surface representation, then you need to integrate that one. And then we need to integrate, if we want to find the length, so we need to integrate the length. So later on we will learn how to do it, but uh, this is the summary actually. I just put it up for you. So this is for cylindrical. So this is the differential volume, rho d rho d phi dz. And for the surfaces, and these are for the lines lengths. For the spherical, R sine uh, R square sine theta dr d theta d phi. We know it already. These are the areas. So these are the this is the volume. This is the area, and this is the lens. Similarly, we know already that the volume can be calculated by the x dy and dz. And uh, surface areas can be different. Six surface areas can be calculated by these three different conditions in rectangular coordinate and then the lens. So we will apply now this one into one example. By doing this example, we will learn how to apply this. So here, uh, the example is using the appropriate differential elements. See, we learn about the differential elements, right? Show that the circumference of the circle of a radius rho naught is twice pi rho naught. So we know actually this one that any circle with a radius r or p or f, we how we find it? We we multiply twice pi with that radius, right? So but how how you get it? Actually, we will learn. Then we need to find out the surface area of the sphere of the radius this one we know it right but how we got it we will derive today and then the volume of the uh, of this sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube r pi r not cube or, or r cube if the radius is given so we will, we will learn this we will go for the first solution the circumference of the circle of the radius we need to find now before we, I start this one, you need to remember one thing that what is the circumference actually? Circumference is a length. Circumference is a length. It's not a surface. It's not a volume. So we use this identity, either this or this or this. Okay? Since it's a circular, Either we can use the spherical or the cylindrical coordinate, but cylindrical coordinate is mostly, mostly it's easy to implement if you have no other spherical element. So let's move to the solution and we'll see what how we have we have done it. So this is our circle, right? Which have a radius of rho. So it's not it's moving along like this. So the radius is constant, but your phi is moving, right? So, our differential length here is actually here. This one, where phi is moving and rho and z is constant. Okay? So, here, check. There is z, is there is no z here, right? And there is no rho here because rho is constant. But which one is moving? Moving is phi only. But we know that dl, if you want to find the length of the moving phi direction, then it comes dl is equal to rho d phi. And the limit can be from, it can be maximum from 0 to twice pi. For, for rho, from, because in the previous class we know that, sorry, uh, phi, uh, for, for phi, the, in the previous class we know the maximum limit of the phi is from 0 to twice pi. So, we know our dl, so the length of this circumference is L is equal to integration of dl. But our dl is rho d phi. But the phi is equal to from 0 to twice pi. So this is how we get it. Now, since the rho is constant, it comes out here. 
and then we integrate this one. So 1 d5 means 5 actually. So rho we know. If we know rho, so twice pi means twice pi minus my uh, so integrate this one. So twice pi first, then minus of this one zero. So we get L equal to twice pi rho naught. Now if this one five, then it put five here and then you get the values. This is how we got it. Now we move to B. So surface area of the sphere. We need to determine the surface area of the sphere. Now we go to solve this one. I will go back actually here. Now we need to find out the surface area of the sphere, right? So this area, this sphere, right? This the whole whole surface area of the sphere, right? So this surface, where you find out the r is always constant, isn't it? The r is always constant because the surface area is it it is on top of the sphere, where you are not moving towards the center. It means there is no movement towards here, right? So only the r. So r is constant, right? So this possibly this will be our uh, our solution. Let let's see that the solution is like that or not. So we are line trying to find the surface area here. Ah, yes, it is that. So ds is equal to what? R is constant, and these two are moving, right? Because the whole surface we want to make. So R here, here R, here R, R is same. On top of anywhere, the R is the same. So R is constant. So we get ds equal to R is R not square sine theta death, sine theta death, d theta, and d phi. So S, we know, is equal to double integration of ds. So we have here, we know phi goes from 0 to pi, and then the theta goes to 0 to, uh, sorry, uh, phi goes to from 0 to twice pi, and theta goes to from, from 0 to pi. So we put these values, and then do, uh, when we, uh, this r comes out, and then this phi will catch this phi, and then this theta will catch this. So we will differentiate sine theta d theta and then we will uh, sorry we will integrate sine theta d theta and we will integrate d phi so these are the two elements of integration then we have this and then we get this value which is s is equal to 4 pi naught similarly uh, here we can see that uh, we need to calculate the v, right? So v is always straightforward. So v means triple integ integration of the dv, but we know that dv is equal to r square sine theta dr d phi d theta. And all the elements we know from phi, phi is equal to 0 to pi, theta is equal to 0 to, phi, uh, uh, sorry, uh, phi is equal to 0 to twice pi, theta is equal to 0 to pi, and r is, r is equal to r, r r is equal to 0 to r naught. So then we, we integrate, that's integration. If you have problem with calculation, of course, you can you know talk with me. That's how we get it. So I will uh, make another video continuing from this, this video. I don't want to make these videos too long. So from this one, we will move on to our uh, next uh, segment. We'll call it uh, we'll do one example more, and then from that example, we will we will try to uh, move on to our the del operator, where we will learn about the divergence, the gradient, and the curve, how to how to determine. So, assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Uh, see you in the next video.